In order to dual boot Windows 10 and Linux, you first have to create a bootable USB drive and download uh, the desired Linux uh, distro on that drive. There are various software programs that allow you to create a bootable USB drive. The one I use is called Rufus. So to find Rufus, uh, type uh, Rufus into your uh, search engine. And you do want the Rufus uh, that is Rufus.akeo. Click on that. And you should see the screen. And if you scroll down, there is a, a download uh, uh, button right here, Rufus 2.18. And go ahead and download that and install it to your computer. I already have it in mine. Uh, located right here. After installing Rufus, you'll want to download the particular Linux distro that you want to use. For beginners, the best one is Linux Mint Cinnamon because that just works uh, right out of the box uh, for most hardware. So again, go to your search engine and type Linux Mint and you would go to the Linux Mint page hit the download button and the latest release is Linux Mint 18.3 Sylvia Among the desktops, the most uh, user-friendly for uh, beginners is the Cinnamon, and you would download uh, whichever type of computer you have. Most uh, PCs are 64-bit, so you just click on the download link, and there are various uh, mirrors you can choose from, so choose one that's uh, closest to where you live. So. I live in the United States, on the West Coast, we'll try the University of Washington, and we'll go ahead and uh, download that. So if you notice, this file is 1.8 gigabytes, and I have a very uh, fast uh, internet connection, so it won't take me long to download that. come back when it's fully downloaded. So the download is complete. Let's click on that file. And you'll find it in your folder. Actually, you don't need to click on that file necessarily. Just open up the folder where it's stored. and you should find it under Downloads. Here it is. Okay. So after it's downloaded, you confirm that it's on your computer. You can go ahead and open up Rufus. Actually, before you open up Rufus, go ahead and insert your USB drive into the uh, computer. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so the drive I'm going to download to is now in the USB port on my computer. Now I'm going to open up Rufus. Allow the app to make changes. And then it's going to go ahead and pull up the USB drive. Now this USB drive already has a Linux image on it, but I want to change it. 
to the one I just downloaded. So the way you do that is that you click on create a bootable disk and you want to choose ISO image then you want to select this icon here find the file that you want to create a bootable drive from here it is click on that open and then push start so you want to write in ISO image which is recommended click OK all data on the device will be destroyed OK and then it starts to work and I'll come back when this is done so when it's done uh, creating the drive with the operating system on it, um, you will get this screen that says ready and you just click close and you go down and um, eject that drive, pull it out of your computer and you're ready to take the next step. So if you're new to Linux like I am, there is an increased chance that you might make a mistake. And so you don't want to completely destroy your laptop. So it's always a good idea to back up uh, your current OS, um, in which case this is Windows, before you do anything else. Um, once you have backed up your hard drive, you can go ahead and take your bootable USB uh, flash drive um, that has the particular Linux distro um, in it and um, insert it into a USB port, uh, preferably USB 3 for uh, faster speeds. Okay, once that is inserted, power on your laptop and on the X230. Once you get the boot menu, screen or screen startup screen uh, you do want to press F12 and that will get you into the boot menu let me go ahead and turn off the flash sorry about the flash okay um, and then you want to choose the USB drive as the booting device and you do need to use the arrow keys to move uh, on the screen, the mouse doesn't work. And once you've selected that, using the down arrow key, you push the enter button, and then it starts to boot. And you can see the um, Linux Mint logo. I'll come back once it's loaded up. Okay, so this is the startup screen. When it first boots up, you do want to test the distro on your laptop to make sure everything works, specifically Wi-Fi, sound, Bluetooth, and all that before you decide to install it on your hard drive. Um, so if you click on here at the bottom, it says no connection. And so you want to set up an internet connection Let's see, and there is a guest network here. We'll click on that. And now we have internet. So internet does work just fine. Actually, everything works fine on um, Linux Mint on the uh, X230. Okay, so in Windows, go ahead and in Cortana, type in disk part. So um, choose the uh, create and format hard disk partitions. Okay, 
so this is the hard drive and so this is the NTFS where uh, Windows is located now if this uh, were to take up uh, all of your hard drive you can shrink that by right clicking well by selecting it so left click on that to select this particular drive and let's see right click on that and you can choose shrink volume Okay, so it shows you the total volume and the amount of space you can shrink it by. So if you want to take um, 100 gigabytes from this, uh, you enter the appropriate uh, number to shrink it by. I don't want to shrink it by 100 gigabytes, so let me go ahead and shrink it by 30. And then the size of the Windows partition after I shrink it will be um, 311 gigabytes, and that's fine. So let's go ahead and shrink. So now that has actually uh, become 304 uh, to the Windows partition, and then uh, you have additional uh, free space available to you. So I prefer Ubuntu Mate over uh, Linux Mint. So that's what I'm going to dual boot on this laptop. I have the USB uh, drive already um, inserted that contains the Ubuntu Mate image uh, live uh, USB bootable drive. Um, so let's go ahead, turn on the X230. And in order to get to the boot menu, uh, you will need to push F12. From there, um, you choose the USB, hit enter, and Ubuntu Mate will start up. It will come back when it is up and running. So this is the startup screen. Before you do anything else, make sure that you connect to the internet. There'll be a message up on the right corner saying you're not connected. You can click on the internet icon to connect. Once you're connected to the internet, um, you can either try Ubuntu Mate. Since I already know I want this installed, I'm going to click on Install Ubuntu Mate. Uh, do select your language of choice. You can download updates and install third-party software while installing if you choose. I do choose, so I mark both boxes and we're going to push continue. We'll come back when we're ready for the next step. So then you're next greeted by this menu called installation type and you have three choices. Install Ubuntu Mate alongside Windows 10, erase disk and install Ubuntu Mate, and something else. Now if you're an advanced Linux user, you want to choose uh, something else and create your own partitions. For a true beginner, uh, go ahead and choose install Ubuntu Mate alongside Windows 10 and click install now. It's going to make some changes to device. Go ahead and do continue. And we'll come back when, oh, here we go. Uh, choose the time zone. I'm on the west coast of the United States, so I'm choosing Los Angeles. Continue. US English, continue. And go ahead and uh, type your name, computer name, uh, username, and password. 
recommend uh, for security's sake to require a password on login. Um, I'll come back after I type everything in and uh, we're on the next page. So after you type in your name and password and push continue, it uh, goes to this next screen uh, where it starts um, installing everything. We'll come back when it's done with the installation. Once installation is complete, you will get this prompt to restart the computer. So you can go ahead and do that. And you are now greeted by this grub menu. So um, you can choose to start on uh, Ubuntu. And since I didn't push anything, it automatically is starting on that. And now you can log in. and connect to Wi-Fi. And you're up and running. Let's see if we can boot into Windows still. So let us restart. Using the arrow keys, let's choose Windows 10. So Windows 10 loaded up with no problems. So now you have a dual boot machine um, that has Windows 10 and for me uh, Ubuntu Mate.